Good afternoon, fearless dreamers. This is actually take two of today's live. I've been experimenting with some new technology and the first, techno first go with new technology didn't work. So here I am. Today I'm here, I wanna to talk to you about your comfort zone, how it's actually formed and why the older you, that you get, the more dangerous it is to actually stay in your comfort zone. So most of the time when we're taught about our comfort zone, we're taught, this is us. Not saying you're a purple dot, but this is just the example. And this is the comfort zone that we exist in and everything we want in life is out of our comfort zone. And when we get here, we hit up against what we call a boundary condition. But how are those boundary conditions formed? No one had ever really discussed with me how they appear. And we all know that, you know, well, I will just assume most of us know that, you know, with coaching, you push through the boundary conditions. But this is how they're, they're formed, right? So let me get another color text off. I finally, finally set up my spare room as more of a studio space. All right, so this is you. All right, there you are, a little pink heart in the center of the board. This is you living your life. And then something happens. Oh, you fall in love up here. So you fall in love, you are 16, 17 years old. All right, fall in love, three weeks later, he dumps you, your heart is broken. So you put up a wall. And what that does, it pushes you down, but then you go over here and look at something else. Maybe you got a job or your, your first business and something happens, the business failed, you lost your job, it really sucked, whatever it is, and um, you leave that there. You go over here and you're living life and you make, make some new friends over here. But, you know, stuff happens. You have a falling out, you grow apart, something happens. And so you run back to your family. I feel like this is turning into a bit of a circle, right? So here's your family. <laughs> really bad representation of a family, they're little stick figures. Something happens, you have a fight with them and you go off and like something else, you go and travel. You travel the world and that's the world. But you have that experience, you get robbed, right? And so you come back and you settle down and you just start I don't even know what that shape is. But you just start existing, but life really sucks. So what you've actually formed here over time, let me get a different color, is actually the beginning of your comfort zone. It's here, right? And you've got all of these unhealed wounds and you're living in this space. But then you go back and you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll have another girl at romance. Something happens, that's a broken heart there. So you put up another wall. You invest in some, some study, this is a book, invest in some study, that doesn't work out. You have another fight with a different friend, another rule. You've made up with your family, things might be a little bit uneasy, another wall comes up. You've given up on traveling, so maybe you just go on a short holiday. Ah, it's disappointing, but you feel let down, life starts to happen and then your boundary conditions start to become smaller. And something else happens in here as well. The older you get, the more risk adverse you become. So going out and meeting somebody new again, having your heart broken again, the risk is too much. So you stay alone and that makes your boundary smaller there. You stop studying because it didn't really get you anywhere. You didn't make any money out of it or, you know, something didn't work. And all of a sudden, another fight with the family or, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, these things get smaller and your world actually starts to shrink. And the older you get, the more risk adverse you become to actually having a go at learning new things, putting yourself out there, taking a chance life becomes a lot more dull and a lot more contracted and you keep contracting 
And the reason I really wanted to bring this up today was because even somebody like me who has coaching is a coach. Like even I've noticed that some of these things are quite contracted for me. One of my coaches actually said to me, he goes, from when I met you 10, 11 years ago now to where you are now, you're not as much fun. And I was like, wow, I'm actually not. And a really, really good example of this is the internet and YouTube. So I, when I first discovered the internet and YouTube and videos and all like, I'm like, wow, this is just like this huge space of potential to be able to perform and be seen. And so I was doing fun stuff on the internet and that, but I got bullied. So it cut back. Um, my business with that stuff didn't quite take off. So it kind of contracted. And so my point is here, I really want you to understand, we talk about boundary conditions and pushing through our comfort zone, and that's great. But are you understanding why, and the older you get, are you understanding that it's harder to do? It's harder to do on your own, for sure. And I really wanted to bring to your awareness that if you can look back and go, you know, grab out that wheel of life, the 12 spheres of life or whatever it is, um, and, and have a look at that and go, yeah, I'm not traveling. I'm not having fun. I'm not investing. I'm not taking risks. I'm not doing things that make me happy because I'm sitting here thinking, but what if it doesn't work? Chances are something that's happened and happened to you at quite a young age that has been compounded over the years because it hasn't been healed, that's one of the reasons your comfort zone is contracted down into this tiny space and you feel contracted and you're struggling to push forward through your dreams. And so this is where it is really important to start challenging yourself and start looking at these spaces and going, where do I need healing? How can I move past this? How can I bring that fun and enjoyment back to my life? Because if you want to dream fearlessly, these things need to be taken care of, need to be released, healed, acknowledged, whatever it is for you. So your comfort zone can expand or you can actually break those boundary conditions and the things that are out here that you really want you're actually not afraid anymore to take a chance. So here end of the lesson. I hope that helps. Um, hashtag replay in the comments and feel free to pop your questions in there. But even for somebody like me, I was just like, yeah, you know what? And this was a conversation I had this week. And so this is why it's like, yep, studio's set now. The restreaming thing, it's got a little hiccup. We'll work on that and fix it. Um, everything is fixer operable. But that's why I was willing to take a, a chance on the restream, a chance on this, and just have a go. And so today, this weekend, next week, in the future, really start challenging yourself to just have a go. Even if it's little baby steps, little things, right? Because your dreams are out here. And I think. For the people in this group, probably one of the worst things is getting towards your end of your days and going, I had a dream inside me and I, I never moved out of my own way to take action. So let me know your thoughts. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any other suggestions or thoughts or ideas that you want me to create some content on or research and present in here, always happy to because <laughs> I've got my space set up now. All right. Love you all. Thank you for showing up. Thanks for watching and dream fearlessly.